This is so scary. You know what? Go for it. <laughs> I was like, walk up throw? We'll do a walk up throw. Key is to be unpredictable. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Street Fighter 6 Online. In today's episode, instead of playing Zangief, I'm going to be playing my actual main, Blanca. Now, I know I already pissed some people off by the, just that comment, because Blanca ain't exactly the most popular character in the world in this game, because he's kind of annoying, but I personally love going absolutely ham with Blanca in this game. So yeah, let's go over how to play Blanca. I already beat this guy once. Uh, he's a jumper, so we kind of know what to do against him. Blanca is lucky because he he does have a good anti-air. He actually has several good anti-airs. But the game plan, what you want to bring out, is just this. This is the heavy rainbow ball. And, sorry, heavy straight ball. And people are really like... They don't know what to do against it. I swear you can you can pick this up with this if I don't miss. And then you're going for the electricity, your rainbow ball, and that's it. So basically with Blanca, what you're shooting for is sort of like a, a controlled goblin mode. You really gotta like embody what Blanca represents and just have the kind of controlled craziness that this character requires. And that is... I missed the anti-air. But, yeah, the, the main sort of lesson here is to not be afraid. This guy's a fucking maniac. Like, he doesn't do anything you would think he should be doing for someone in gold. Uh, then you go for the slide, you counter hit him, you're going for another slide because that's a low, people don't block that shit. You're going for the jump, he's gonna waste his burnout or going to burnout. You're gonna trade with that, and he's gonna jump again. Watch him jump, yep. I will miss the pickup, and he's gonna super like an idiot. And you do the punish, and that's it. Maybe not the best demonstration of what Blanca can do, but. We'll get there, we'll get there, don't worry. We got into gold off of that, and that was easy money. We have a 5-bar connection, so I'm hopeful... Jamie, nice. This is not a character you see often, so we might have someone who actually knows what they're doing. Um, it's gonna be very interesting. And he's using one of the... like, I think that's the alt costume, so... Yep. That is such a good start with Blanca. Uh, the fucking the air ball which he has in this game it's a new tool if you thought Blanca didn't have enough like Blanca balls and all that they gave him an air ball I'm just gonna use it to get out yep the thing about Blanca though is he has uh, like several great anti-airs slide yep and then you do this, that is also a good end here by the way, he's gonna jump. And then you pick it up, I keep missing pickup. It's all good, this guy is like struggling a little bit against what to do here. What we're gonna do is not go for an EX, because I thought he was gonna okay, cross him up, go in for this. Hit him with the birdie special, which is... I don't think he's gonna stay on the ground long enough for the birdie special, but... The, I'll show the birdie special maybe... Um, a little bit later. Because this guy ain't gonna sit still long enough for me to do the birdie special. For that you need someone who actually, like I said, doesn't just hold up, he left. <laughs> he left because of... Well, it's Blanca, I mean, that's gonna happen. So this is the birdie special. It's when you do a cancelable normal and you cancel it into a command grab. Because you know Birdie had in Street Fighter V, he had that chain, the jumping chain grab. And this is kind of the same idea. I mean, Blanca could do this in SF5 as well, but he still has it. I played Birdie, he was my main, and 
Blanca has the birdie special, so yeah. It doesn't work on a lot of people, but, you know. Who's gonna end my 12 win streak? I, I'm worried about that. I think it's gonna be this Chan Li. It's definitely gonna be this Chan Li. Fuck. The Kikoken. Not the Kikoken. What is it called? Kikosho? Not the Kiko. What is that move called? Hosanshu. That's the one. Me and Street Fighter move names. He didn't do anything like even remotely special there and he got me. I guess that's my fault. Yeah, nice punish. God damn. I don't really know what she's doing. Why did I do that? That was the dumbest fucking move I could have done. I think my streak... I'm worried about my streak, boy. I need to, like, pull some shit out here. The birdie special. That works for me. And the thing about... If I don't mess up... Yeah, there goes the streak. If I hadn't messed it up there... Uh, the thing about Blanca's command grab is... I heard it loops into itself. <laughs> that animation, though. Nice. Well, there it went. GG's. Yeah, it's gonna be Chan Li. Like, like I said, this is only like hardcore Chan Li fans play this character because she's easily the. Okay, I'm gonna punish that every single time. She's easily the most sort of uh, difficult character to play in this game, I think. And it's it's a toss up between her and Jamie. Oh shit, yeah. Try to react, Mr. Sketchhead, because she's gonna combo your ass. And throw you out of the DI. I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting out of this corner. Unless she really screws up. If I had more health, I could have pulled something off, but... That goes straight into there. Let's not do that again. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Fuck. <laughs> GG's, GG's. Alright, alright. She's tough, man. Tough character to deal with because nobody has any experience against her. Contrast to Street Fighter V where Chun-Li was incredibly popular early on. I should go into training mode with her. We're getting all of these sort of rare characters today. Modern Kami. Should be interesting. I don't even know if Kami is good or not a modern. Oh, okay. Let's start off with that. Is this going to be one of those people? He just commits. Yeah. He's just gonna... He's just, yeah, he's just gonna... Mm, yeah, okay. I can tell what sort of match this is gonna be. Um, but listen, nobody can go goblin mode better than I can with Blanca, so... I don't think this is gonna work out too well for him, he's gonna do something stupid. Yep. I cannot believe I got hit by that. That's like the easiest reaction. That was a weird air combo. Yeah, he just doesn't block, does he? Alright. He just didn't block, that wasn't even... That, none of that was a combo. I, he just didn't hold block at all. Alright, fine. I'm okay with that. Easy money. This is not an easy character to fight against. At least for me. I mean, it depends on the Kimberly. Some of them just like go ham and then it's like a little bit easier let's see how she deals with the not well up until now yeah the, the thing is Blanca Ball does kind of shut down the run so, we may just have to go for that. Who needs combos when you have 
the Blanca ball, right? Finally calling it its proper name. She's gonna, yep. I knew she was gonna EX run. But I still messed up. All right. That I think counts as a proper like dragon punch move. So it is something invincible. GG's. This was not one of the difficult to deal with Kimberly's. Uh, some of them can be an absolute nightmare. There's still one move I don't know how to deal with. I have like a list of stuff that I need to lab. Um, the Chun-Li stuff being number one. And the Kimberly stuff of... She has like some heavy kick. I was gonna thinking the same thing. I'm gonna this this is the person I'm gonna hit with the Blanca special. Yep, exactly. And you know what? She's gonna not get hit by the Blanca special. GG's. Instant air Blanca ball. We have those. We have those. That was definitely not an input error you know what haven't done this so far just need to yeah activate it and you can use it for a lot of stuff all right fair enough fair enough you know what do I just wanna super? Alright, fine, 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 fine. I thought I had a little bit more of a punish window there. GG's. Easy. Marissa. We'll see how this goes. I don't do well against this character. Um, I can't say I'm like very experienced. Could have broken that so well. There's a scary thing about her is that everything she does does so much damage. And Blanca in particular, that's the the sort of I think that's his downside. Uh, that his combo damage is a little bit lackluster. To put it mildly. Shit, that move is so scary. Can't be too mad. That was absolutely stupid on my part. And it's stupid that I'm not reacting to the DIs. Um, sometimes I'm like down on DI reactions. And I like consistently do all of them. Today is just one of those days where I'm not. He's doing really predictable ones too. Ah, that's gonna hurt so much. See, I think people like say that this is... I've seen people say that she's not a scary character. I don't know how you can say that. Like, she is absolutely terrifying. At least in my opinion. Don't know how she got hit by that. Okay. Alright. The pain. What the hell? She missed the grab. Oh man. I'm getting my ass kicked. I don't know. I don't know why I'm playing so badly. Because I'm playing like an absolute asshole. Uh, not even joking. Oh my god. This is so scary. You know what? 
Go for it. <laughs> I was like, walk up throw? We'll do a walk up throw. Key is to be unpredictable. Always be unpredictable. Especially when playing Blanca. That jump move was crazy. People always get hit by that. Let's see if I can do it again. If we have a chance. It works. Third time? No third time. Because your boy dropped the input. Alright, just get hit by that. You know, one of the interesting things is nobody plays Honda. Or I see Hondas extremely rarely online. That is a crazy distance. Finally. That's what I was trying to do all session. Um, I can't be too mad about that. So yeah, Honda is basically like the better version of Blanca. Nice. Nice, nice. Because he has even more insane safe stuff and barely anybody plays him. I thought sort of Honda was like a well-known good character. So to me it's interesting that that is not what I was going to go for. I was going to go for this. Shit, I did not know Coward's Crouch. I think that's what it's called. Can do that. That's actually crazy useful. Whoa, what an in that was a really interesting interaction. I just want to close this out. I'm not really familiar with her Super 1. I probably could have punished that. Uh, way better. But I didn't. GG's. Good Marissa. I like Marissa. One of the better newcomers, I think. In terms of, like, overall package. People seem to, like, really like her. Alright, that was a fun little session with Mr. Blanca. Uh, this character is super fun. I know people get mad about him. But... All I gotta say is stay salty, because I'm gonna Blanca ball your ass and there's nothing you can do about it. He's fun, I really like him. I didn't like him in SF5, which is weird because he's not that different in this game in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, you know, you play who you like and he's super fun. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Street Fighter VI. Blanca special and yeah, we'll be back next time. Take care everyone and peace out.